Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how can you retrieve image from database. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to create a PDF file. So in my video number 26, if you are following my previous videos, I have told you how to open a PDF file. So till now, uh, to the video number 36, we have learned about PDF that how can we open a PDF file in our C-Sharp application. But now I will tell you how can you create a C-Sharp application. Okay. Uh, sorry. How can you create a PDF file? Okay. So now for creating a PDF file, you will be needing some third party DLL files. So for that, go to your favorite browser, open google.com and in the bar, type here itextsharp. And the very first link that is sourceforge.net slash projects. If you remember that uh, while creating SQLite video or uh, working with SQLite, I have also used sourceforge.net uh, projects uh, website and I have used some files or code from there so same like that in order to create PDF file I'll be using the library the PDF library uh, from sourceforge.net and when you will open that you will have an option to download itextsharp a .NET PDF library so you just need to download hit download and then it will ask you whether you want to download or not or your download will be started shortly okay so you will wait and there you go this is 6.91 mb's file so you'll hit start downloading and in a while your file will be downloaded so uh, until the file downloads okay so we do one thing that we go to our solution explorer and here we select the name of our project that is first C sharp program we'll right click on that and we will go here open folder in file explorer because we are going to copy our some DLL files in our file explorer where our project is located so here you can see that our project explorer file is open and here our project resides so now i will see if my download has been completed or not so i will wait so now you can see the download is almost complete okay so when this download will get completed you will have a zip file so when you will open that okay so there you have itext sharp so when you will open that you will have these kinds of files right here okay so these are those files so you need to extract a few of them not all of them so for that I will go to my this is my solution explorer of my project I will go to this first uh, file that is itext sharp dll core.zip so I'll double click on that and I have two files over here so I'll copy both of them and I will drag them to my solution explorer and you can see that it has been added to my solution explorer so now I need to go to the next one I don't need that because this is for drying purposes and the next file that I actually need is this one itextsharp dll pdfa.zip so I will click on that and you can see I have one file inside of that so I will extract or drag it right here and you can see that it has been added so now the next file that I need is this one itextsharp dll extra dot zip okay so I will click on that and you can see that I also have one file here 
so I will just drag it out to my solution explorer all right so now I'm pretty much done here but I need to do one thing uh, I'm pretty much done here with the dragging because still I have to write code for uh, creating PDF file definitely so now what I will do I will again come to my solution explorer I will right click on my project and here I can find an add so add I will go here and I will add reference right so when I will hit on add references I will get something like this so what I need to do I will click on browse mm, okay so I'll hit on browse and I I got to go to my project where my project resides and that is most probably here in documents in my case. yes Visual Studio 2015 I'll go here and inside here there is the projects folder so I'll go to the project folder and this is the first C sharp program so I'll click on that double click and here you can see that I have these three DLL files here so I will add three of them as references so I'll hit add and you can see that uh, now three of them has been added and I need to check all of them and I need to hit ok so when I will hit ok you will be able to see that in my references these three things have been added here I text sharp I text sharp dot PDFA I text sharp dot extra okay so now the time has come to run our code and before running our code I need to drag a button so that uh, I can hit that button when I will hit that button my PDF file will be generated so I just change the text of the button and that should be create a PDF file okay so you can see that I have this button here so when I will double click on this button it will create an event of this button for me and inside here I need to write the code for uh, creating a PDF file okay so before writing code for PDF file I need to import some of the libraries that I have added into my references so I'll go up here and okay let me start my other download okay okay I will go here and I will add here using I text sharp right dot text got it and now I also need to write here using I text sharp dot text dot pdf because these are the two things that I'm gonna use and one other thing that I'll be using is using system dot io so if you don't have this library imported here then do import that okay system dot io and these two uh, libraries you need to import three of them so now I will go again to the event of my button and inside here I'll be writing the code first of all I'll be introducing a document class that will create my document document doc is equal to new document and in here I'll be writing i text sharp dot text dot page size a4 dot a4 I think yes I can select any file size that I want and then I need to give some of the you know parameters I need to pass them these are the official or uh, you can say official parameters given by Microsoft on their website for uh, creating a uh, file size so this is related these four parameters or values are related to the page size 
or uh, the spaces between them okay so something like that this is related to the document length and width so we have created our document successfully and that file size that i have created or that page that i have created is now copied into this doc object okay so remember that these objects are the memory blocks little memory blocks you can say okay so in the next line i will write here pdf writer and i will give it a object name an object name and in here i'll be writing new uh pdf but i think mm, yes new pdf writer dot get instance mm, and in here i'll be passing two variables like doc and the other one should be uh, new file stream and that is basically for creating our file okay so it will also have two parameters the first will be the file name and the other one will be the selection of the file mode that is actually create because we are creating a file okay so now i'll be writing here the file name that i want to give it to that so i'll write here file dot pdf is the file that i want to create and now you can see that we are pretty much done here but it is showing some kind of error okay so if i have we remove this new ah so now you can see that error has gone okay so when i have removed new so now this get instance error has gone so what this line is doing that it, it this is the pdf writer and it is actually creating a file okay it is telling that the file mode is creating not reading not writing it is create create file mode okay and this is the file name you can also give here the path of your file wherever you want to store but if you don't give the path that if you simply give the name of the file that means it is going to store the project in your solution explorer where your project is located so when i will create my pdf file it will be stored right here okay so now the next line that i will write i'll write here doc dot open so i will open my document okay and i will write something inside of that doc open okay and in the next line i will write a paragraph and remember that in your pdf file you can write paragraph you can add author you can add keywords you can add subject you can add title whatever you want so for now i'll be writing here the paragraph new paragraph okay so i'll write something here this is a para uh, paragraph from code beginners right so this is the paragraph and you can also add author doc dot add author okay so in here you'll be writing something whatever author name is talha let's say and you can also write here doc dot add creator yes you have a lot of options here so i am just giving you an overview of that add creator and same thing like this you can say like visual studio whatever you can give the values as per requirement so doc dot add subject okay these are the few things that i am showing you and inside here you can write pdf file and another important thing is doc title okay add title 
and you can write here whatever you want title all right so these are the uh, some important things that you can add and you can do with your pdf file and when you done adding this so you need to add them okay now i'll add doc dot add so i'll write here mm, p okay so this is my paragraph now it's been added all right so i have added them directly but i have created an object for this and then i have added this okay so now my pdf file will be created successfully so now i need to create uh, close my pdf okay so now i'll write here doc dot close and my pdf file will be closed i hope you have uh, you know got the concept from here because i have explained each and every line of that okay so now the time has come to run our program so when we will run our program uh, it will take a while so now our program has started running so we will give our credentials okay so we'll hit login and it is telling us that login successful in a while it will tell us so we will wait so now you can see that login successful so i'll hit ok and my form will be open so when i will hit uh, create a pdf file then you will see that a pdf file will be generated in this uh, solution explorer so right now if you are able to see that uh, there is no pdf file okay so when i will hit this create a pdf file mm, you will see that a pdf file will be generated here it should have generated so mm, i cannot see file dot pdf okay i have clicked it and it is not generating here so i think it should be generated here in the debug folder Mm, yes in the debug folder you can see that file dot pdf is generated so uh, for your uh, confirmation i will delete this file and i will generate that again so now if i you can see that there is no file dot pdf file so when i will hit create pdf file mm, okay so i'll bring it closer here so when i will hit this create pdf file you will see that a file pdf pdf file is created so when i will open that what this pdf file contains so you will see this is a paragraph from for beginners this is the same paragraph that i have written so in that same way you can add images you can add whatever you want in your pdf file so you can see that this is the same paragraph that i have added into my code from here this is the paragraph from code beginners okay so i hope you have today thanks for watching and please rate comment subscribe bye for now